a lot of new stuff, which is a lot of more of sitting around our desk. A lot of the same. A lot of yeah. uh, hot dog eating. Yeah. Pizza eating. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of peaks. There was a lot of flatlining. Well, I think we we're a little relieved uh, Hold was out of there because he is so demanding. Well, you felt that way, perhaps. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but I <laughs> happened to really miss Captain Holt because he and I had been developing a, a budding friendship that had before the <laughs> had not been seen before this. And, you know, it was, it was off camera. Of course, you didn't, the audience doesn't get to see it, but believe me, there was a lot going on with Holt and Hitchcock. More than just their initials, I'll tell you that much. It's becoming fertile. Territory. Yeah. Well, we a lot of uh, intense intellectual dialogue. Yeah. The backstory on Hitchcock and Scully. Yeah, I think the guy who, uh, you know, yeah, I, I looked a lot like that at that time. Oh, yeah. I looked almost exactly. I had more hair, but the I guy could have had a few more uh, ripples in his uh, belly area. Yeah. Um, more of a washboard type deal. A little fa bit more. Fact of the matter is uh, that was about the time they were doing Miami Vice, and I it was one of those you know people I ask actors all, did you ever turn down a role you kind of regretted? And you know I probably should have said yes, and Don Johnson took it and looked you know whatever. But that's kind of what uh, happened in that episode. We were kind of it was kind of like the old uh, Miami Vice days. Yep. We had. Um uh, we were trying to get a lasagna cooked. That was a lot of fun. That was a, that was tremendous fun. Uh, Incredibly so, stressful. Well, until we got to finally, you know, devour the thing. Oh, that's true. We, how many did we devour? Five, six of them. I don't know. There were a lot, like a lot of takes. And of course, the Hitchcock and Scully episode. You know, the, the, the you know, the going back to the early days. We got to, it was a, it was a lot of hard work for us. We're not used to you know moving around much and and you know actually doing things but uh, we did what we had to do to solve the crime and get it all put together and we saved the young lady you know with our buckets of sauce so exactly you know. you're talking about the buckets of sauce we wear or just our buckets of sauce in general the ones around our neck yeah that we were carrying season seven when it starts we're still at our desks yeah. and um, well, you know, we're a little concerned about our captain because he's no longer our captain right now. Talking about the hot dogs yeah. at the end of the Manhunter yeah, episode, it please was do. nice to be in demand like that because we do know where all the hot dog stands are. And, you know, that's pretty much all I really remember is just the hot dogs. I just remember just hot, really dogs. hot dogs, hot dogs, really, hot uh, dogs, yeah. hot dogs, hot dogs. Well, the Cinco de Mayo, you need to tell them. Because Cinco de Mayo, was, uh, that was a challenge because uh, you met my brother, my twin brother. And um, that was... Uh, you were like an amoeba that had split in half. It was. It, it was explosive. Well, you know, a heist is always in the works in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. You're yeah. bound to be. We're not privy to it, but, you know, because we like to be surprised just as much as I, the next guy, right? Absolutely. I'm yeah. trying to think of the holidays... Thanksgiving heist? I don't know. Nah. Maybe. Well, we'll find out. Know. We'll see. We'll, we'll learn along with the audience. Did we Vanessa, love Vanessa? Vanessa Bears. Did we love her or yeah. what? Everybody. Everybody on the, from the crew to the cast. To, yeah. She's, she's just, wonderful. What a sweet human being and funny, funny, Super funny. funny. My gosh. Yeah. Well, it's always uh, fun to come back after a break because you kind of miss everybody, and right. we've got a great crew, yeah. and um, yeah. so we miss them. And yeah. it's kind of a cliche to say you become a family, but it's been seven seasons now, and you kind of do. You you see how uh, you know different crew members, how their babies grow up, and people get married, and all kinds of things. So it's really actually it's, very nice to come. It's back. always a pleasure to come back to Brooklyn yeah. Nine Nine.